Today we're going to work on how to get into Vakasana. So, let's start in our hands and knees, just for a little warm-up, and doing some cat and cow, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, inhale, look up, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, exhale, round the back, so your belly in, chin to chest, pushing the fur away, inhale, look up, exhale, down. Let's come into your downward facing dog and look forward. Jump your hands, your feet behind your hands. So let's come into a malasana position, bringing your hands in prayer, dropping your hips, open your knees and lift your chest. So you can work on this whenever you can. This is very useful to open the hips. It's very good for the lower back as well and also for the Achilles tendon. So with, with that position, keeping your knees bent in a squat, you can bring your hands um, in front of your feet and you can come into your tippy toes. It is very important to keep your, your knees connecting with your, your armpit. So come up, hips up. Very important to plant your hand on the mat and really grab the, the mat with your hands. So push down through your fingertips, grabbing the floor, feel the weight in your fingertips, and you start coming forward, coming forward, pushing. You can start bending the elbows slightly to give you a little leverage, and then slowly come forward, and maybe one foot comes up, and you can start there, or they maybe switch sides and lift the opposite foot, or Slowly again, come forward, come forward, come forward, and lift both feet, and just maybe see if you can hold it for a moment, maybe just the tips of your toes, touch the floor, and you push, you breathe here, and that can be the first step for your vacation. So once you feel comfortable with that, there's always the option to place a pillow in front, so you don't fear of dropping into your face, which it ha if it happens, it's not a big deal, but it's always that fear. So if that helps, please, you're more than welcome to do it, try it, whatever works. So once that feels better, you start coming forward. Again, remember, the knees as high as possible. Squeeze and suck your belly in. Remember that cow position rounding the back. So come forward, bring your feet together and, oops, <laughs> and you be careful not to slide. So come forward, push, squeeze, and try to push your hands, straighten the arms as much as possible, squeezing the feet. And breathe here as long as you can. Maybe two breaths to start, then you start moving and building it up a little bit. Because Bakasana is a very useful position to work on your jumping back and your floating, so you can put it into your postures and then from there jump, slowly building up, slowly. So that is how you slowly progress into your Pakasana position. I hope you enjoy it, I hope it helps you, keep practicing, so don't give up, you'll get it. Namaste.